Loch Navar. Boilers seem to have a little restriction on the combustion air side. Just got one of these outside air vents opened up. I noticed when the one was running that uh, it was sucking the damper shut. So I believe somebody installed these to flap shut when it's not running, just keep critters out and things like that. As I take a look at these, these are not intended to be like just regular uh, weighted barometric dampers. Usually those will have your multiple strips of dampers going across. This is a damper that's made to have an actuator. Should be an actuator on the side of that. This is never gonna work. I just need to take it out. It's got a screen mesh over the intake out there, so this is probably not needed. I just turned it on, you can hear the whistling. Got that. Still have the ducts connected. I want to show you guys. Look at that. Negative inches of water column. It's gonna to go towards four inches negative. And I just have this, not in a hole with precision, but just tucked into here. Turn this back off. And I just have that duct just sitting there, just gonna show you what kind of restriction that was. Check out both dampers out of here. Pressure intake is hooked back up without those pesky improper dampers. Let's give this unit another try, shall we? There she goes. So 0.7, close to 0.8 inches. It's sure better than about negative four inches of water. Much, much better. <laughs> so this other boiler wasn't working, which is the reason they brought me in here. I happened to just find the dampers because when this one fired up, I heard the intense sound of what seemed to be like a plugged air filter, which these do have air filters, so I came over here to check it. Air filter was not plugged, but as soon as I opened this top, man, that thing just got a gasp of air. So I checked the combustion air and I found those dampers over there, but over here on this thing, just now got into it finally. Fuse is blown. 15 amper. I thought I'd, and then they said they just put this motor in, but it's still not working. Well, I thought I'd check just the wiring, make sure they have the it wired properly, you know, low voltage versus high voltage, because it's 120 volt. And uh, I immediately see what's going on. Look down in here. <laughs> terminal here, terminal over here, and they're touching right here. I did not see that. Oh, that stuff's actually stiff. And these are all, I know that you wiggle this, I mean, this has got to be one shitty connection. So, I guess the turd wranglers. Plumber did this. So it looks like a, look at that. I didn't even loosen that screw yet. I just pulled that right out. Okay, the moment of truth. Wow, that's a funky ass disconnect. They don't even have a positive click. Well, this sucker kicked on without even bringing on the LCD screen. There it goes. I guess it's warming up. <laughs> it's upside down. I think it's an Android. What the heck? No way. So, let's fire this bitch up. better when you uh, don't have a damper closing up on the inlet. 